Hello, my YouTube family. God bless y'all today. Welcome back to Sister Cece's channel. And uh, we're going to open up in a word of prayer, short word of prayer, and then we're going to just go into the song. Somebody was, uh, one of my sisters in the Lord was saying that um, she loved me singing uh, before I start. And so it really touched my heart. You know, although the Lord says make a joyful noise, he didn't say how it's supposed to sound, but I'm like, okay. So it really just encourages me because I'm more of a writer than a singer, but I don't mind singing and giving God some glory. Y'all just got to bear with me. And I'm have to, I got my water sitting here because I don't know what it is. Y'all pray for me because every time I start singing or preaching or teaching, it's like my throat just starts and I start coughing and everything. So y'all pray for me and then these songs i got here it's hard to do by myself some of it because you need two or three people with some of the songs i write but um i'm gonna try to sing a little bit okay let's open up in a, a word of prayer god bless y'all i hope y'all doing good today i hope you are blessed in the lord and and uplifting somebody else and encouraging yourself just like david did amen amen Let's open up in a moment of prayer. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day you have made. Thank you for everything you're doing in our lives, God. Thank you for the things you have done, God, and things that's coming our way. Thank you for working behind the scenes, God. Lord, we thank you for just another day, God. Another day to wake up in our right minds, a mind that want to serve you, a mind that want to be a servant to other people, God. And, Lord, we just ask you to come into the home to bring healing, God. Lord, we know that the enemy is coming in, Lord. But you said that when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will set up a standard before him, God. And, Lord, we know that the battle don't belong to us, but the battle belongs to you. And, God, I just ask you, Lord, to have your way in this broken vessel, God. Lord, I'm walking by faith and not by sight on this channel, God. Just being obedient. I love you, Lord. And I'm asking you, Lord, to just help us to just those that are not the backslidden to go back to their first love, God. And those that don't know you, that they can come and accept you as their Savior, God, and say, what must I do to be saved, God? Lord, I'm thanking you for your, your love, your guidance, your protection, God, around our children, around our families, God. We just thank you for a hedge of protection that you're putting around them as they go back and forth they different in their ways lord in their lives and lord we just ask you for healing the mind the body and the soul god we need you lord without you we're nothing and we thank you lord for your your presence we thank you for your love your grace your mercy and lord we just want to lift you up in your name we in all these things in your name amen thank you jesus god is good amen and greatly to be praised Y'all bear with me here. Let me get some water. I gotta drink water. In Arizona, you need water. I mean, everywhere you need water every day. It gets dry out here and like 113, 112, 114. I mean, three digits. And I'm quite sure in other states where you're at, it's, it is hot. So we gotta stay hydrated out here. You know, especially remember also that when you go out and about to get some water, and if you can afford it, and if you got a transportation, please remember to pick up some water and take it home and get it cold, good and cold, and pass out to the homeless. Because there's so many people that are homeless out here, and they need some water, okay? Nobody won't turn down no water. We all need water. So... If you can do that, please do that and bless your sisters and brothers that are out there on the street today. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all pray for me. I don't know which way I'm going here. But let's start with this song here. And this is so hard, but I'm trying. Bread of life, food from heaven. Bread of life, ceasing never. He's my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread of life. I, 
bread alive, food from heaven, bread alive, cease in heaven, he's my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread of life. When I hunger, he fills me up with love and happiness. He died that I may live. He's my bread of life, bread of from heaven, bread of life, cease in never, he's my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread of life, life. If I should die today, at least I know my soul will be saved. I will live in eternal life with my bread of life. Bread of life, food from heaven. Bread of life, cease in never. He's my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread of life. life. God is that bread of life. Amen. Y'all got to excuse this phone. And like I said, if you hear that phone, anything, just we just going to keep praising on God and pre keep going and moving on and doing the Lord's work. Amen. God is so great and great to praise. I'm sorry if I was off key with singing a song today. My voice is just raspy. I don't know what's going on with it. But y'all pray for me. Pray for my health. Keep, keep me encouraged and as I pray for you that God is just 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 let him have his way but Jesus is your bread of life amen God is everything that you need he is the bread of life and we're gonna go to scripture that's what I love doing I love teaching I love giving the word of God I love preaching I love God to just use me in his word and I love to just give out word to encourage somebody that's going through today. And we're going to come back with that message on bread of life. It's a long message and it's going to take time to go through it. But we're going to come back with that one because I think it's important to, to know that, you know, God is that bread of life. Everything, okay? And we're going to go back to the day with the principles uh, first mention here. I don't know where we're going. I just um, pick it up by Pastor Morris and I just pick it up. It's a devotional. And I just open it up and wherever I open it to, that's the encouraging word for today. Okay? Short story. Whatever we open it up to, no fear. That's what we open it to. No fear. Amen. It's a lot of us stuck with fear because fear keep us stagnant. We can't move forward when we're in fear. You know, the body just shuts down. And sometimes we we got to move forward. And knowing that, you know, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. That's what he gave us. We don't have to fear knowing that God is on our side. Amen. But that's what I picked up. And this is by Chelsea Seaton. And it says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. And it says, I battled fear for most of my life, 
you probably wouldn't pick that up just by having a conversation with me because I can be quite the daredevil. I can boundary jump, rample down mountainsides, and kill spiders on the spot. I'm always up for new things, but the reality is worry and anxiety have been my consistent tormentors. And when the unknown is in front of me, I'm terrified of what could be around the corner. That sounds familiar. I know what it means. All the worst case scenarios fill my head, piercing my mind like arrows. In Genesis 15, we see Abram, whose name was later changed to Abraham. I was going to say that. Filled facing many unknowns ahead of him, too. He was in a new place, had just fought and won against a large army that night, came back for revenge and had been promised children when he was very old, which was impossible in a natural. Without TikTok and Netflix to distract him, I'm sure he had lots of time to imagine the worst case scenarios and feel afraid. It's in this mode of fear and the unknown that God shows up and says, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. This verse is the first time the word shield is used in the Bible. God could have said, I'm your protector, which would have also been accurate. But I think the word shield is used to give us more of a mental picture. Shields are used in battle. They are tough and they prevent danger from getting to you. Arrows are deflected and swords deferred. Shields protect and can be wielded at a moment's notice. Furthermore, warriors carry shields. With the use of this word, not only is God saying he's our protector, he's also letting us know that we're warriors too. When we're faced with change, unknowns or danger, real or imagined, it's easy to feel fear. But when we remember that God is our sturdy shield, we can have faith that the arrows won't reach us. God is our protector, and when we know how much he loves us, there is no room for fear. Like the Bible says, perfect love casts out fear. Today, if you find yourself in the same boat as Abram, allow your Heavenly Father to minister to your heart, just like he told Abram, ask him to remind you that you don't have to be afraid because he is your shield. Allow his protection and perfect love to cast out every fear. Amen. God is your protector. He is watching over us day and night. And so we don't have to worry about tomorrow. God said, let tomorrow take care of itself, but just, you know, focus on today and what God is doing in your life today. So we don't have to fear the unknown because we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. All we got to do is walk by faith. Amen. It's important to have faith because with faith, you can, you can overcome all that. Faith is also one of those, those protecting shields and the Ephesians that we got to put on. We got to put on faith. And Hebrews, excuse me. We got to put on. Because it's important. Because all the things that the enemy is coming up against us with. Is trying to hinder us and stop us. And not believing in what God and does said the Lord. But we got to stand upon his word. That He will. he's our protector. He is our defense. You know. It says that he, we can run to him anytime. We can go boldly before the throne of grace and obtain mercy. We can call upon his name day and night. You know, he's our protect, pr protector. He's our defense. You know, he's watching over us. All we got to do is call upon him. There's times that fear can keep you stagnant and you don't move and you stay there. When water is stagnant, it's not going nowhere. It sits there and then pretty soon it's polluted. It's no good. And so sometimes fear don't keep us from, it keeps us from moving forward because we just stand still and we can't move. We don't know how that, we don't react, we don't react, we don't do nothing, we just stand there and we stay stagnant in that same place. And sometimes God wants to take a step by faith, you know, not fear, but overcome fear with faith and say, God, I believe you, I'm going to take, a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust you that you're going to open up doors for me. I'm going to trust you that you're going to heal me from anything that's coming up around me. I'm, protect, I'm trusting you that you can see way ahead of time and you're going to protect me from all danger. 
I I'm trusting you, God, that you're never leave me nor forsake me. And you also said that you're not going to give me no more and I can bear. So with this weight and these this things that we're carrying right now, we can also put that faith, put that on faith that God is going to work things out. But the song says, while we're trying to figure it out, God is already working it out. Amen. Whatever we're going through, no matter what it is, we just got to just turn it into our fear, into faith and say, God, I believe you. You didn't bring me this far to leave me. You didn't bring me this far to turn your back on me. And as I'm going through, you're walking through with me. Amen. You're, you didn't leave me alone. You're with me going through, through the fear. And that's what she was saying about how fear can overtake you. And look what Abram left his own country, left all these people to move somewhere else. He didn't know where he was going. He didn't know what was on the other side of the mountains or in those valleys or the other those cities and stuff. But by faith, he believed God. And he went and God blessed him because he went by faith. And then and Chelsea was saying after all these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram and vision saying, do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. That's found in Genesis 15 and 1. The God is your shield. Now that shield is used to protect men and women in battle. That shield. If you, you look at all these old movies and stuff, you'll see them put that shield up. So that when the enemy comes in there, he can't, he, he won't touch the body because wherever you got that shield at, and it's a, and a dagger or, or, uh, whatever happening arrow or whatever hits that, that shield is there to protect that part of your body where it won't get hit. It's going to hit it and then bounce back because that shield is strong. It's there to protect your body, to protect your vital parts, to protect your organs, to protect your heart. That shield, to protect your lungs, to protect your kidneys, to protect your stomach, your intestines. Wherever you put that shield at, when the enemy comes up with a, with an arrow, it won't penetrate. Because why? You put that shield of faith up. God, I believe you no matter what it looks like. I might be feeling down, discouraged, but I'm going to believe God. I'm going to take a walk of faith and believe whatever God said. Whatever God said in his word, I believe it. And that's all she wrote. Amen. I believe you, God. But when the enemy come in there shooting those arrows and 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 shooting all kind of, uh, I mean, heavy artillery at you, what is going through money problems, worrying about your health. Here comes your 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 baby is sick. Here comes the rent is due. Here come the mortgages too. Here come a light bill due. And here come the baby need a pair of shoes. Here come all of that stuff coming up against you. I need some food. Here comes how I'm going to pay this bill and that bill. Here comes I have to not pay this and I got to pay this, but this one got to wait. Here comes all these worries about your health. Here comes worry about the in-laws' health. Here comes worries about your spouse's health. All this stuff just keeps piling. The enemy trying to pile up against you. Put the shield of faith on it. God, if God said, I'm going to believe him, Satan. He says, he's Jehovah Jireh, my provider. I, he going to work. He going to give me what I need. God says, he's Jehovah Shalom. He's my peace. He told me to cast all his cares upon him for it's him that cared for me. He said that if I be saved, my whole household going to be saved. He says, he should apply all of my needs according to his riches and glories in Christ Jesus. He says that I am head, I'm the head and not the tail. Blessed coming in and blessed going out. He said that by his stripes I am healed. He said that if I delight myself in him, that he will give me the desires of my heart. He said in his word, I got to stand upon the word of God and believe what he said. Because the devil's going to throw stuff your way. He's going to throw stuff. But just remember that when he's throwing stuff, it's not going to penetrate because you got the shield of faith all around. You can hold it this way. He come with something. You can hold it that way. When he come with something, you can hold it that way. When he come with something, you're protecting all your body. You're protecting your mind with the word of God. You're protecting your body with the word of God. You're protecting your soul in the word with the Holy Ghost. You're protected all the way around. But the enemy going to throw stuff against you. Just know it won't penetrate. 
It'll bounce back off of you to the pits of hell where it came from. Because why? You're going to use the word of God against him. You're going to stand upon God's word. You're going to believe God even though you don't see it. You're going to believe God even though you don't feel it. You're going to believe God no matter what people are talking about. You're going to believe God no matter what. You're going to say, God, you know, I believe you. No matter what, I stand upon your word, no matter what. Because God, Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will remain the same. And his word is a truth, and I stand upon his word. Amen. That's what we got to do. Just stand upon his word. And don't walk in fear. Don't walk in fear, because God is with you. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Neither will he give you no more than you can bear. Walk by faith and believe what God said. Do like Abram, walk by, by walk by faith and not by sight. He didn't know what was coming on there when he left his, his country, when God told him to get up and move and take his people and everybody else. They was all born in a foreign land, but God blessed them anyways. Amen? By faith. He didn't know in his old age he had, had Isaac. He didn't know how what was going to happen when he had Ishmael. God blessed him with Isaac through Sarah, who both people were, were, were having a problem having kids in the beginning. Uh, Abraham and, I, and Sarah had reached old age, and they was past childbearing age, and God blessed them. Sarah at first laughed. Yeah, I'm going to have a baby <laughs> when the angel told her that. But Abraham, he believed God. And what happened? That same year, that angel came, God Woo. Brought the manifestation of what he said what he was going to. He brought it to him, and, and then Sarah was pregnant. And here came Isaac, the chosen one. Isaac means laughter. It was a time to laugh and be happy because look what God has done. Look what he did. Amen. By faith, no fear. Perfect love in Christ. Trust in him that he's going to work things out. No matter what's going on, there's nothing too hard for God. You just got to trust him. He's everything you need. He's your bread. He's your substance. He's your life. He's your strength. And he's your provider. He's your peace. He's your comforter. Whatever you need God to be, that's what he could be in your life. God bless you, and thank y'all for joining me. And remember, no fear, because why? God is on your side. And he said, if he's for us, what? Who? Romans 8 chapter can be against us if God is for us. Who? What? Can come up against us if we got God on our side. We got all we need and some more. So Satan, bring it on. Because we know that the word of God is there and we can use the word against you. Amen. And you got to flee. You got to go because you can't stand the word of God. He can't stand the blood. He can't stand the word of God. Amen. That's where the power is at. And the word of God. God bless y'all. I love you. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. If you want to comment. And also if you want me to just teach on something or speak on something. Please, you know, put in the comments. And I thank you for my sister that wanted me to sing. I'm going to try to sing a little bit, you know, uh, something, something uh, before I open up. Y'all yeah, just pray for my strength in the Lord as I go forward. And I love you guys. But remember, above all, Jesus loves you. Until next time, take care.